Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, celestial violet rays of the Universal One. We have powerful energetics pumping in through today's activation portal on January 14, 2024. We have multiple spikes in Mother Earth's heartbeat and amplitudes of 21 hertz, 22 hertz, 41 hertz, and a big blast of white light at 51 hertz. As Gaia rises, we rise with her. We have fifth dimensional energetics fully anchored in as we navigate through all barriers and break through all limitations. As we make our great shift of the ages from the age of the dark, Kali Yuga, and into the new golden age of light, of the Satya Yuga and the new age of Aquarius, we are released from all that has held us back from our full potential and totality of our infinite multidimensional sacred self. In these final days of the reign of darkness, we release and let go of all that no longer serves the highest good of all and call in our highest timeline of peace, prosperity, joy, and abundance for all our good people of the new earth. In the pure awareness of the mind of Buddha, we resolve all things perfectly and bring all into the balance and harmony of the music of the spheres. This is it. This is eternity. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of the pink flame. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And be sure to sign up on our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com for my Sacred Condors Weekly New Earth Ascension Report and Astrology Reading. The new one was released tonight, so be sure to check that out. Now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Anna Lee. Course Corrections for the Children of the Emerald Sun We bow to our elders birthing and growing. We must protect them fiercely. Listen and hear. Gather and compose the nodal joints within to anchor and bridge the arcs. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Jennifer Catron. She emerges from the underworld, retrieved, dispersed dragon fractals, divine inner child across all dimensions, timelines, soul history, second round of keys, codes, and crownings for completion of previous cycles, ancestral bloodline, especially rose and grail lines retrieval, bifurcation completing. Christos Guardian Assignment Updates via Council Higher Trajectory Anchored Timeline Split and Now Time Balancing of Karmic Scales Divine Feminine Rising Union Codes And today from Divine Sistar of Delight Aura 444 It's so beautiful to see the consciousness of this planet increase. May you feel the harmony of the unified magnetic field of consciousness that is light and sound, from the heart of creation to your whole beingness, as gamma waves are strong, bringing heightened states of perception that is consciousness. Your frequency gives to your reality. Choose to harmonize with your soul. 144 flowing in. Massive transformation occurs for you, humanity, and the planet is already shifting. And from Divine Sis Star of Delight, Laura Hazel, a word from the Wales, 14th of January, 2024. Remaining apocalyptic timelines close as inharmonic cores are returned to the greater cosmic source. Crustal displacement allows harmonic light codes to shower from newly liberated anchor points. Deep masculine and feminine distortions begin processes of disillusion and harmonization. Harmonic spirals of creation near completion within chosen spheres. 
with great love from the cetacean collective from dolphinresonance.org and from divine angel of the light light worker 4444 time turns into timelessness fear transforms into love all that is dark into light and goodness fills our life as we perceive the paradise the earth was intended to be all glory and honor belongs to the one singing harmoniously in cells a love note from the beginning our origin as love and today from divine sis star of the light shea from numbers by shea numerology one fourteen twenty four in keeping with january's theme of completion and release something has to give today there is likely a stowaway from 2023 still attached to you and clinging to some old expectation or hope but there's no place for it now and it becomes a burden it has to go the thing is it's not a secret it's not hiding in fact it's probably uncomfortably in your face but it's your ship you're sailing and you can choose what stays and what goes you might enjoy the process so much that you'll be even more free by the end of the month which is a very good plan in general from divine sis star of delight at any crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy athens the hollow sun becoming worthy of our blessings energy update it is one thing to remember a traumatic lifetime and it is another thing to actually physically face and process all the painful and difficult emotions feelings and beliefs that are coming from it in the here and now along with the blessed healing restoration and clear understanding of how this has affected your being and overall system and health what is taking place now is something divine this is love and wisdom blessing us on all levels no words can express the huge blessing that we have finally reached to be worthy of i use the word worthy because it is all about whether one has taken the self-responsibility to follow the inner demanding healing process through enough in order to be able to allow the false sense of power and the ignorance coming of the childish ego mind to fall away so that the merciful divine blessings of the hollow sun can be received in self-accountability humbleness and trust this is when one finally deserves the mercy which is meant to be consciously received mercy was always there we just had lost our way to it when one searches one finds when one insists one reaches the goal when one becomes an adult one becomes a conscious creator this is where we are now via our reconnection to the hollow sun we have opened ourselves to a new stage of our healing restoration which is about the direct embodiment and realization of the true energy coming from these important timelines not all lifetimes of the soul's journey are important the major ones are those that we had connection to source these are the nodes in the spiral what took place in these major ones defined a large group of less important incarnations and periods of the overall program we are healing ancient pain forgotten pain but a very alive pain just because we took distance via time from this pain it doesn't mean that we have healed it remember that nothing ever gets lost because no information experienced can be lost it is just that it was pushed to the outer circles of our system now all circles and major nodes are being reconnected allowing all previous distant information to come back online reconnected to our emotional mental and physical body no this is not just a recovery from some difficult memories this is us reconnecting to our true history through our true being and divine earthly genealogy this is us becoming whole again and regaining our true identity so you might have been aware of a major lifetime you had since long ago but now you will feel and sense the energies from it coming flooding in like a wave of exaltation and redemption like a fresh new breath of life now you will understand now you will see it clearly and many things will start making sense 
It is because we have reconnected to the merciful sun that our systems now can restore the inner kundalini plasma paths of true remembrance, and we can access those distanced areas of our being in a more smooth and easy way. Gaining a more holistic sense of ourselves, I was told that so many anxieties, neuroses, mental disorders, even severe psychoses, or chronic health issues caused by these ancient traumatic experiences in these major life nodes will start healing as we move into reconnection to the hollow sun and self-responsibility. This is just blissful. We are the diamond pearls. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are coming back alive on the organic line. We are blessed. We have a lot of support and help from our 5D healing teams in this and many tools to use. Words are really not enough to express our gratitude to our 5D family who has been guiding us for so many years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deep gratitude to our beloved 5D spiritual teachers. Erini. El Moriana Anadi Miana, Ol A Christos, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior, 1111 into the 1122, coming in. From Divine Sistar of Delight, Asara Adams, Energy Update, Archangel Mikael. Greetings, beloved ones, we are sending you blessings of love and light in this now moment and we are inviting you to open your heart to our message for you. Beloved one, as you are moving through your ascension journey, you are beginning to release more and more of your ego mind to create space for your God self to reside within you. The more you are aware of the workings of your ego mind, the easier it is to let it go. One of the big emotions the ego mind uses is guilt. In your interactions with others, notice how the dynamic of guilt is being used, either for the fact of trying to make others feel guilty or feeling guilty yourself. Guilt is something the ego mind uses to keep you in bondage of the illusion and everyone in it. The moment you let go of this guilt dynamic, you will be free. How do you do that? Let's first examine the actions that are qualifying others and yourself for judgment and therefore being found guilty. The illusion construct of the ego mind is founded by everything that is not love and peace. That means that every act that does not reflect love and peace is therefore an experience of the illusion and when unaware of the ego mind, qualifiable for judgment and guilt. Anything experienced in the illusion is not of God, and therefore not real. That means that any action that is not love and peace is not real. It has been caused and executed by the ego mind of the other person or yourself, which is not the true self or God self. It was the ego mind. The only way out of the illusion and into the higher dimensions and God's reality is by realizing this fact. The illusion is not real. The moment you are becoming aware of this truth, you will be able to let go of finding others and yourself guilty. You will then be able to see through the illusion and perceive the true God self within others and yourself. As you will see yourself and others through the eyes of God, you will raise out of the illusion and you will bring everyone with you. This beloved one is your ascension. This is your victory of the light. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way. Dear ones, you are loved beyond measure, always. I am Archangel Michael and I bring you this truth. From TelosChannel.com Our angelic code of the 144 coming in on today's 144 portal. And from Divine Sister of Delight, Karen Lithica. We are the healers of now, to acknowledge the crystalline light formation of you, us, the crystalline light of the collective, for we are creating and expanding the light awareness of now. We are the light generation paving the way. Please acknowledge this moment. 
for you are making great light strides in your personal and collective evolution of light. We ask you to picture this now moment as confirmation of all you have achieved and all you will achieve. We are in monumental moments of rapid light awakenings. We ask you to believe to receive. The great light synthesis has arrived. With love, everyone, the Arcturian Alliance and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James. Today we have Venus trying the North Node. This is a powerful conjunction that is all about your love life and your destined path moving forward. The focus is on karmic connections and faded relationships. This is a powerful alignment that is activating your destined path moving forward. The Lunar Nodes reveal your karmic path in this lifetime. The South Node reveals your past and past lives. The North Node is your path moving forward and your spiritual purpose. Together the Nodes are meant to help you to understand the karmic cycles of your life and to not repeat the mistakes of your past. Venus is ruler of your current Libra South Node. This represents the past. She is touching our Aries North Node. This represents the future. This alignment is all about integrating your past relationship lessons. It's all about what cycles and patterns you are trying to break in your love life. It's all about healing and clearing blocks and sabotaging behaviors. You are being guided to move on from any toxic situations or relationships that are not good for you. The North Node is all about shifting out of your comfort zone. It is all about your destiny and bigger reason for coming to Earth. It's all about activating your soul's purpose and soul's mission. Expect today's energies to bring a lot of healing and clarity. Think of your North Node as the map of your life. Expect more of your next steps and future to come online. The North Node is all about where you are headed. The North Node reveals the energy you need to harness in order to fulfill your soul's mission. It's all about reaching your full spiritual potential. Today's alignment is all about cleansing yourself of any past or current karma. It's all about activating more of your soul's gifts. It's all about where you're going on your path moving forward. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jenny Schiltz. This energy is incredible and brutal. It feels like the solstice was so long ago, much has shifted and changed. It is just getting started. In 2024 through 2025, we will be in a solar maximum. The sun is continuing to send us plasma and codes. These codes come in and shift our DNA, upgrading our systems and helping us to make evolutionary leaps. I see it as a control panel where the codes come into our bodies and turn on switches, one after another, all in divine timing. This energy is digging into our deepest crevices, shining a light on all the spaces where we have deemed ourselves unlovable and unworthy. We are seeing how we have been the ones to bind and limit ourselves with our programming and blocks. Many are experiencing memories arise in a type of life review, as well as past lives and parallel lives. We are working through eons of emotions, and many are feeling deep grief. The more we can let go and move through, the lighter we become. The shifting of our vibration is helping to align us with the new that is here and ready for us. So much is falling away. So much is being exposed within and without. We are being given an incredible opportunity to shift deeper than ever. As the old leaves, it creates space for our true being to shine through. We are becoming... While this energy can feel uncomfortable, confusing, and unstable, there is also excitement. This process has sped up tremendously. It requires that we take better care of ourselves on the mental, emotional, physical, and especially energetic layers. The more the sun sends us, the more intense the process on all our layers. The flares, solar winds, alignments, and the incredible amounts of plasma bombarding us takes its toll on all our layers. This can leave us emotionally and mentally worn out, 
physically weak and energetically vulnerable. The events that wear us out also batter the Earth's magnetic shield, creating cracks and weak spots that allow in greater amounts of radiation, plasma, space dust, and codes. We are not separate from the Earth. All that is taking place affects our energetic shield and body. It weakens and cracks the aura and the halo. This can allow in energies that are not ours and frequencies that create intrusive thoughts and emotions. From JennySchultz.com And today from Star Sister Astrology. For the third time in 44 days, our tiny messenger planet has entered one of the zodiac's four world changing degrees, zero degrees Capricorn. Each visit has been crucial to his cosmic mission to bring you the energy that will help you see how to see what matters at this crux point of our beautiful hurting planet. It was December 1st when the messenger first reached the most mysterious of the four degrees, zero degrees Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn that comprise the world axis. For those of us in the northern hemisphere, this is the one the sun enters to open the season of the darkest, coldest days. The sun was still there when Mercury returned for his second retrograde visit the day after the solstice, to receive from our life-giving star a new way to see. At the very moment Earth's northern pole was leaning away from the sun and into the great mystery of the star fields that surround us. Like our messenger, we too have been deep diving into the relationships between the great mystery in the skies and the one here on earth. Like him, we are desperately seeking for the connection points that can open us to regeneration and healing. After that conjunction with our star in zero degrees Capricorn on December 23rd, Mercury kept moving. By December 30th, he had reached our galaxy's reality-bending heart, where the edge got as Varda, the star kindler, was waiting to gift him and you with her most potent magic. Still, the messenger kept going all the way to 22 degrees Sagittarius, where on New Year's Day he realized he was done. Just two days ago, Mercury made its way back to the galactic center for the third time since the week after Thanksgiving. He is retracing his steps, connecting the dots, and so are you. Varda was still there, waiting for him, as she will be for Venus next week as the Sun and Pluto make the great crossing into Aquarius. After this week's Capricorn new moon on Pluto's south node, seeding a new beginning with over 2,000 years of Plutonian karma, we need every single one of the blessings now being showered over us in equal measure to the daring and the peril of the evolutionary leap it's time to make. And now, just two days later, our messenger is back at the solstice degree, one week before the sun and Pluto leave Capricorn for the zodiac's most visionary and humanitarian sign, Aquarius. Just before they arrive, our star and Pluto will conjoin in the final minute of the final degree of the zodiac's most karmic sign. Only then will Mercury leave the degrees of his retrograde that he's been traveling since late November. Every step of the way has prepared us to open the eyes of our hearts and see this moment, ourselves in it, and the legions of benevolent forces surrounding us now. We are a crux point, star peeps. It's not a time to lose hope, but to seize it and hold it close. Our messenger's 44-day journey back and forth across the world axis, between the sign of cosmic fire and the one that holds Earth's harshest realities, is nothing if not a mission to help us bring to this moment the wisdom and creativity and wonder of the star fields that we, like our planet, are made from. What happens at the world axis ripples out to change the world. When Mercury is there, it's how you see and what you think and say that has the potential. He won't be here long, just 24 hours. Whatever you do, don't waste them. From StarSisterAstrology.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma. 
on Sunday, January 14th. Venus, ruler of relationships and personal resources, and freedom-oriented Sagittarius the Archer, is in conjunct Uranus, the great awakener and liberator, and earthy, grounded Taurus. We may need to make some adjustments with the pull we feel to break free from certain situations or circumstances in our lives. Perhaps we desire to expand our reach and experience into new horizons, but the timing is not quite right. Maybe we want to be independent and showcase our individuality, but instead should look at the bigger picture of all the dynamics and players. Use your inner vision to come up with unique solutions to your current situation. Your angels and guides hear your call for assistance and will lead you in the right direction, in the divine timing that is best for all concerned. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Mercury enters Capricorn, Venus in Sagittarius, trine North Node in Aries. Here we are again with Mercury, back to the same problem, but now with a different perspective. New information, a more rounded approach. Realizations drop into the mind, and we are more receptive to the wisdom given. Generally, this transit prompts us to consider the practicalities of life, the demands of work, the responsibilities that come with being a parent or owning a business. Right now, it's time to cut through the fluff and focus on what is essential. It's a constructive transit, but sometimes it's easy to fall into Capricorn's shadow and find ourselves thinking negatively. Reframe or consult others with more experience. Do not let your mind limit you. In fact, it may serve us today to drop into the heart because it's from a place of love that we find our way. When we approach life with openness and excitement for all that is to come, it ignites a spark within. Find something to make you smile, the kind of smile that brings a warmth deep in your chest. Put your hand on your heart and think about all that you treasure in life. Love will lead you to where you are meant to be. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 86, White Galactic World Bridger. Galactic is the name for the number 8, and its keywords are harmony, integrity, and model. The eighth step of any wave spell is about finding harmony in your life. So check yourself and make sure you are appreciating everything you have and make an effort to get along with everybody. It doesn't matter what day in the Zolkine that the eighth day of the wave spell falls on. It always softens down any energy it combines with. Make it your mission today to be fluffy. This number puts folks in a good mood. Today is White World Bridger, and its keywords are death, equality, and opportunity. World Bridger days provide an opportunity to cross a bridge, but first the toll must be paid, and this is where the word death comes into play. It symbolizes sacrifice and letting go. Do not be afraid to let bygones be bygones, as this process is a form of death. Also, anything that has been preventing you from crossing a bridge to the next level must be considered. Ask yourself what you must do to get where you want to be. As it is a galactic day, this suggests that harmony is waiting for you on the other side of the bridge. A grand prize worth striving for indeed. The world bridger is a diplomat, and this gels very well with the harmonious number eight. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Galactic World Bridger, 8 Kimi, Keen 84, 14th of January 2023, Modeling Opportunity, 14 1 2024 equal 5 1 8 equal 5 9 equal 14 equal 5, 14 14 5 5 Liberation Portal. Day codes, 14, media, publicity, recognition, attention. 5, freedom, change, movement, transformation, liberation. Month year codes, 1, new beginnings, original, leader, independent, unique. 8, infinite, abundant, source flow. 9, endings, completion, service, mission, humanity, grace, divinity. 20, the awakening, clear vision. 24, charisma, happiness, healing, joy, 
Keen 86 equal 14 equal 5. Liberation code 141414 555. Another highly transformative day of change and divine liberation. Thankfully less intense than the powerful red serpent gap day yesterday. Day 8 in the blue storm wave spell of purification, cleansing, transformation, and evolution. Today we let go and surrender in order to transform the past and build bridges to the future. Tone of creation, galactic tone 8 in the mental realm. Action modeling, power harmonize, essence integrity. The galactic tone will influence much mental analysis today. The most important factor is that we model integrity in our thoughts, words, and actions. Are our intentions based on harmony through integrity of being? Our plans need to be transparent and for the highest good of our community and planet, for them to hold up in these new energies. Our projects and business models will then serve as a model for others following in our footsteps who hold the ideals of unity, peace, and harmony as a priority. At Tone 8, we have entered a new scale, and we are so proud. We just have to model ourselves for others. We have also mastered harmony at this stage. We are galactic, and don't we know it? Today, we are modeling opportunity so that we can build a bridge to the new world, where equality, love, and integrity are the new foundations. Hold the faith, devoted rainbow warriors. We have fought the good battle, and the way forward has now been cleared for humankind. Today's question is how can I harmonize with my kin through the power of my authentic heart, building bridges to our wonderful new world? Divine blessings for the gentle surrender of the pain and ultimate connection to a higher plane of existence. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 86, White Galactic World Bridger. The mantra, the code for today is, I harmonize in order to equalize, modeling opportunity, I seal the store of death. With the galactic tone of integrity, I am guided by the power of heart. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com or make a one-time donation to our PayPal or Stripe accounts at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, David Levesque, for another Super Thanks donation on YouTube today. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sister of the Light, Marie Josie Gerason de Long. Prayer of the Pink Flame. Beloved Presence I Am. I call upon the Ascended Masters of the Pink Flame and give thanks for all its benefits and teachings, and I am grateful for its light that shines with love, tolerance, and harmony in me and around me, and I ask, seal us in your light, in your love and power of victorious fulfillment. Keep us and protect us, guide us and direct us, give us the light and truth that sets us free. Shranaya, Guide de Ascension, from MarieJosieMedium.com.
Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed week ahead as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.